Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of... Ow. Uh, the, the, the West of Loathing. God, the name escaped me for a second. Last time we left off, we unlocked a, a new western portion of the map. Not totally west, but we're getting there, so uh, yeah. Let's head to the railroad camp, why don't we? And see what the new area has for us. As you're heading down the dusty desert trail, you sense an extremely powerful, extremely malicious cow presence nearby. You track its source to a nearby ranch. Keep going where I'm going. We'll go to the Hellstrom Ranch soon, though. Canyon side, yeah. What you got to say? You like my turnip hat? Hmm. Think they'd have surveyed the route and had a plan for this already. At least they stopped the train in time. Yeah, that would have been quite a surprise. Why is the train stopped? I don't know. God, we're gonna have to do everything, the old steamy steamer. Uh, you're still snoozing. Must have sleepwalked here. This guy stopped uh, messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans? What you got there? Jelly beans? Uh, yep. Can I have one? No. Please. No, get your own. Well, I never. Uh, where'd you get them? No way south of here from a fella named Roy Bean. Discovered a new map location, Roy Bean's House of Justice and Jelly Beans. <laughs> the what? Lady is still listening. Howdy, boss. Howdy, oh, me. Stuck again. Yep, we got ourselves one a hell of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building. Any ideas? There's an old mine town up north called Breadwood. It opened up a lumber camp after the mine shined up. If you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? So me marks the location of the Breadwood camp on your map. Discover a new location, Breadwood. Of course, anything you can find to build a bridge out of is fine by me. That means, that, seem, that seems like the simplest option. See what I can do. Ooh, the viewfinder. One of those paid telescopes for tourists. This one was designed by a promising young artist named Edvard Munch. Pay your meat and look through the telescope. At least five meat. Sure is big. It'll take quite a bridge to get across that thing, that's for sure. Uh, yep. All right. Guess we're out of here, so I'm going to want to go not to Roy Beans, but to Breadwood, because I imagine that's our next like town destination. There's an open grave here, which is a little weird. Maybe they forgot to bring the body and had to go back to get it. Man, I bet that'd be really interesting. Jump in and see what you find. Oh well, hey, there are a few things in here already. Maybe they're just burying this junk but forgot to fill the hole back in. Skull chips, loose teeth, skeleton bone, and an old engagement ring. Just sell it. Ooh, 200 meat. Get the old dust trail. What in the? The other town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. Yeah, and they're walking on two legs. Okay, hey, hey. Hey there, Susie. The ranch out this way by a lady named Alexandria. Not much that I got hope of her still being alive. Oh, gee. Come on, Susie. Keep your chin up. Oh, I'm fine. As long as we put a stop to this. All right. Where do you think we should go next? Redwood, heard about this place, but it weren't anything much good. Maybe we ought to get Smee's lumber and be on our way. Yeah. You're right. Problems? Howdy, Mayor. I'm Quasimofo, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal for your lumber. With you for the lumber. Alright, I believe we can scrape together that much wood. Sort of down payment you're offering. Oh, uh. Sort of expected you'd just bill us. You know that much lumber, no payment up front? You serious? Probably offer you free train rides. You enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal would be a real problem. And I already got seven problems to worry about. He glances at the list of problems posted on the wall and paces around nervously. Offer to help. Maybe I could help with some of your problems. Oh, thank you. I'd certainly welcome any assistance you can offer. Glance at the problems board, which offers a selection of current issues as well as a dire warning. Which problem do you want to help with? Missing mail? Uh, one last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happened to the mailman or what. Go talk to Reginald the bunkhouse. He used to be a mailman, so he can tell you where to start your search. Got it. I mean, I, uh, any sign of that missing mail? Offer to help. Look at the problems board. You ever do book? Uh, our library's only got four books, so it's serious business when someone doesn't return one. Our records say it was loaned out to a lady of the name of Alexandria couple of mayors ago, so I don't know where we got an address. Okay. I feel like I should just accept all of these right now, right? So... 
Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, you know what? Let's take care of some of those first, and then we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll deal with the rest of that. Since it seems like you're gonna ask me if I did each one individually every single time. Uh, what's it say? All is not well with this well. The drunk horse is concerning. Alright. Does that say the buttery biscuit? Yep. Just two old friends reminiscing about good times and occasionally showing one another their guns in a non-threatening way. Probably dangerous to interrupt us. Oh no, not that game. I forget what it's called. Note it says, see bartender for darts. There's the spittoon. Don't be this guy. This guy's grimly washing dishes. He notices you looking and waves you away irritated. Much of a bar. You want anything? Whiskey and a beer mug? <laughs> no. Keep my head clear for a spell. Alright. Well, well. Looks like some poor son of a biscuit wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez. Rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cussing here in Breadwood. You're sure fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread-related products. So I've noticed. Buy a drink, ask about the darts, ask about the guy washing dishes. Yeah, muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he gets to wash the dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for just such an occasion. How much does he owe? 150. I'll pay it. You're even dumber than I assume, but whatever, you can tell me free yourself. Okay. Hey, you're free. Hey, I paid off your tab. You're free. Huh? You do a thing like that for... Just feeling charitable, I guess. Thanks, but I don't know how to do pretty much nothing except washing dishes. Nothing at all. I can also wash clothes and I uh, can play the washboard. Pretty much it, though. Send them dirt water. There's plenty of opp job opportunities open in dirt water. Why don't you try your luck? Alright, it's worth a shot. Thanks, pal. Leaves of the wave and the bartender replaces the sign on the wall. Great. Dishwasher wanted. Okay. We don't take kindly strangers. Don't need your kind around here. You say need or need? Glares at you. Well, anyway. Darts? Sign on the- ain't got no darts. Buy a drink? Uh, bartender pours a shot of something and slaps it on the bar. I don't get to choose. No. Redwood bourbon. Increase your maximum HP by 25. Okay. Leave? Well then. Uh, that seems cool. Alright, let's get in there. This is a spittoon, and an unusually full one. Probably best to leave it alone. Take a closer look. Look, this isn't Mom and Pop's Family Fun Time Saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. People who drink in here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around in the literal scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It is vile behavior. I have my face right up to the thing. What's it look like? No, I'm telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul spittoons. Got my hand right in there, splashing around. La la la, I'm not listening. You'll find nothing. You're the worst person in the world. <laughs> I found something, all right. Like a necrotic skin disorder, I bet. Actually, it's a pair of boots. So there, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots full of bandit spit. I hope they have to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. Spit soak boots. Plus three maximum AP. I'm just jealous of my sweet new boots. Uh, my brown boots gave me one, but now we got three. Seven AP. Look at us. What are these guys up to? Ask him. Man with the black hat has a huge pile of meat. Man with the white hat looks broken sad. Just playing, fellas. Vera, I wouldn't say we're playing. I say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. Man in the white hat grumbles. How's it work? Easy. You bet 50 meat, and then you name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? Those are rules. How does a guy lose all his meat to you? Real bad at it. Give it a try. All right, partner, start naming pharaohs. Tutankhamun. Well, everybody knows that one. What else you got? Uh-oh. You don't actually know the names of any more pharaohs. Maybe you can get away with just making some up. Tutankhamun? Um... I don't actually know. <laughs> this is not my area. This is not my area of study, okay? Uh, Kapananzis. Uh, he grumbles and hands you your windows. Uh, Jermadumzis. Uh, Snifferhetzer? Uh, he grumbles and hands you your winning. Okay, well, I'm, I did come out on top. I made 80. All I got. Man of white hat scouts. Tables closed. Get lost. Whatever you say. Okay. Oh my god. Cool it. 
Trading post? Trade with it. <sighs> I get it. You're cute, video game? You're adorable. Don't let nobody ever tell you otherwise. Um... God, look at how much garbage I have. I'm still holding out that I'll need some of these locks and how to pick them. Gives you the lock pick and expertise skill. Wet boots. Sulfur match. Deals one hot damage. Uh, mushroom picking pliers? Designed for picking mushrooms without knocking loose all the important spores and stuff. And a monkey wrench. The wrench thing's in the place. Uh, in the place. Right, my family. And then advanced cow punch. And I think I want to hold off on that. I think if I'm going to get anything, I'm going to get probably these mushroom plucking pliers. All right. I am low on money now because I got this stupid hat. But look at how cool it is. Nobody will mess with someone that looks like this. Bunkhouse. So is this it in town? Okay, we got some pepperoni. We got some more tombstone pizzas. Dunwich Crouton. Croissant Le Breton. The graves past here are all too old to be legible. Okay. What we got in the bunkhouse? Flush it just for fun. Master of flushing. What does that mean? Plus three muscle. Your toilet flushing muscles are in fantastic shape. Damn right they are. We should level up. I do have a fair bit of XP, huh? Um, increase discount at stores. Only 5%, but... What if it was really good? Um, menacing moo. Tough customer. I'll get some dicker in, because it seems like it'd be pretty good. First aid, menacing moo, decreasing stuff by two more, gore doing more damage, haymaker doing more damage. I feel like possibly I would just want the extra here. But... Hmm... That doesn't... Upping muscle doesn't feel super worthwhile. Extra HP and plus one more stomach capacity seems good, though. So I will go for grit. I will go for grit. For the extra stomach capacity, mostly. I could... I mean, 10% extra to meat gain seems pretty good. Like, we can get my glamour up a little bit. It's so cheap. Like there, 50% to meat gains, that'll help so much with my money ish with my money problems. So yeah, we're we're gonna roll that. It's so cheap that why not? Some water and a few miscellaneous toiletries. You feel much better. Drafty place to sleep. These beds must have been tenants for who drew the short straws. The tenants who drew the short straws. This guy seems very focused on his beard growing. Howdy, you Reginald. Who the focaccia are you? <laughs> Name's Quasimofo. Mayor's got me investigating some missing mail. <laughs> Said you could give me a line on where to start looking. That was a good one. Oh yeah, all right. I gave up being a mailman a couple of years ago, and I doubt they changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go through a way station just southwest of here. I'll mark it on your map. Postal way station. Uh, I already told you about the bell, you son of a biscuit. Leave me be. The beard ain't gonna grow itself. Guy's just chilling by the fire. It must not be a very good fire. Howdy, stranger. I'm Hobart Buppert. What? Oh, I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Quasimofo. You seem like the traveling sort. Mind doing a uh, fellow a favor? What's the favor? Thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. It's quite a dream. Heard they got one at the Petten Cemetery, but... The what? Petten Cemetery. How it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. See, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. I'm all alone. Oh, I got no prospects paint it back, but I got a camera. I figured if you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of that owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do that. Hey, thanks a bundle. Owl camera, he marks the location. Cool. Okay, I'll be back. Owl K, I'll be back. Owl. Okay, I'll be back. There you go. Enjoy. Foot locker requires lock picking too. Okay, well, I definitely want to get that lock picking book when I can. And now that I have the opportunity to get even more meat gain, I mean, possibly I could get a lot of that if I just sold my miscellaneous items, but I'm so scared to sell anything that doesn't say just sell it. You know? Why don't some of these other things say just sell it? Wait, I can examine this? 
Got a bit of infernal cow spirit just hanging on the side of this pail going boo. It's an insubstantial sub piece of an infernal cow. We're gonna leave it. But yeah, I could probably sell a lot of that stuff and it'd be fine, but... You know? I'm scared to... Alright, Alexandria is where we wanted to go. There's also the Hellstrom Ranch. Let's go to Alexandria and Postal Way because that's some of our main stuff. Ah! Go lie! The heck? Ranting flailing man just burst out of the woods and is running straight for you. He's wearing a strange dome-shaped metal hat which bristles with wires and odd protrusions that crackle intermittently with bright blue sparks. He seems upset. Yarg! Uh, frighten him? Call that crazy, I'll show you crazy blur! You jump up and down while waving your hands wildly. The weirdo screams and runs back into the woods. And what was that all about? Darn if I know. Oh, hi. There's no way past these cows except through these cows. Got the old jump on them, I did. Eat shit. There we go. And... Runty hell calf. Yeah, these are babies. You got nothing on me and my turnip hat. Whiff. I'll show you. Put this bone where the sun don't shine. Gain 96. That actually phrasing on that. Phrasing. No. No, I take that back. Roasted cow tongue, two of them. Um, and smoldering leather, hooray. Thank you. Place really has been blown to pieces. So, used to be an undestroyed bookshelf, not anymore. Diary of Alexandria, Alexandria. Small diary, it's crispy around the edges and smells like gunpowder. Flip through the diary, most of it's uneventful. Describing the life of a woman who likes books and isn't interested in much else. Ends with a passage about a soldier from the nearby fort warning her about some kind of danger he wouldn't specify. So. She moved her most valuable books to the cellar and took the ordinary precautions, e.g. boarding up the windows and not leaving the house at night. Turns out that doesn't much good against cannonballs. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Moldering books, dig through it. Overdue Breadwood book! There we go. Investigate. Advanced Cow Punch in Volume 50! Let's go! Um, okay. Rubbing your skin with sandpaper in order to thicken it increases your armor. Thick skin. Uh, demonic cattle. Small amount of damage to all my enemies. Big poster you can fold out and practice punching. Gives the old one, two, three. A skill that lets you perform three punch attacks in quick... Mm-mm. One, two, three. Each subsequent attack deals one more damage. Perform three melee attacks. Fortunately, you're not very good at stopping punching and you punch the books to bits. Oh my god, that's gonna demolish anything that moves. It's a solid steel vault door. Half a cannonball, the front half. Pick up a cannonball and inspect it. There's an inscription you can mostly read. It says the cannonball came from Fort Treason, and it's got the address stamped right onto the surface. You discovered a new map location, Fort Treason. Bombardment was done by the Arby. Horror. So why did they why did they hate you so much, Alexandria Alexandria? Okay, solid steel vault door. Oop, more more books. Oh wait, no. Okay, never mind. That's just that. Um, I feel like I want to start taking some notes on some things because I did get a little little bit overwhelmed before. So, um, solid steel vault door at Alexandria. So uh, we're gonna make a little bit of a note on that. Because I can't, like, make pins or anything in this game, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, get her on. Fort Treason, so... I mean, we could go there next, or I could go to the Postal Way Station. Let's go to the Way Station first. Dusty suddenly gets spooked by something off the side of the trail. It's easy to understand why. There's a horse skeleton in the ditch, which is probably... Uh, which is a thing that's probably extra spooky if you're a horse. Hop down and investigate. Approaching the horse uh, more closely, you see the tattered remains of a pair of Pony Express saddlebags on the skeletal flanks. The starboard bag is empty, but the port one <laughs> contains a skeletal human hand with a ring on it. Conclude that either the horse's rider died with his hand in the saddlebag, or somebody's really sad that the skeleton hand they ordered never showed up, even though they paid extra to have it sent Pony Express. Either way, free ring. Reduces the frequency of random encounters. The ring of getting places faster. I mean, that's useful to have. I'll keep it. Okay, hello. Anything here? No, just you. 
It says postal service property, no trespassing. Trespass. Uh, you don't even know what bureaucratic processes were involved in the placement of this outhouse. Yeah. Newspapers, go through them. Letter to Roy Bean. Undelivered letter, it's just the Roy Bean. Well, I know where Roy Bean lives. Uh, oh, there's actually a postcard in here that you could use. Blank postcard. Stack of old newspapers. Somebody has removed all the funnies, so there's literally no reason to care about them. Damn, that was me when I was younger. I would usually just pull the comics out and my parents would get pissed because <laughs> I would mess up the newspaper by always just jacking the comics. Kind of, it's full of maps, but you have no idea where, what any of them mean. Maybe you could ask about it at the post office in Dirtwater. Yeah, maybe. Um, big map of the whole region with lots of confusing little annotations. Don't even know. Go through them, go through them. Go through them again? Nothing interesting. Go through them? Nothing interesting. I don't know, just the fact that it exists made me think I'd get like a stupid perk or something if I did it a bunch. Okay, so... What you got to say? It's like if we're gonna sort out a problem with the mail, we ought to be drawing some kind of federal check for it. Yeah, or at least some free stamps. Maybe they'll give us a medal, friends of the post office. As long as they don't mail it to us. Alright, out of here. So... Let's get back to, um... Dirt water. God, it's so far. Um, cause yeah, I need to go check in on that and then head back up here. Dirt water. Miles away, but we made it. So, post office in dirt water. Hello, big cabinet. What's up? Need some help tracking down some missing mail. How do you mean? Metal delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting it down on behalf of their mayor. Local mail station has a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which one I need. Well, that information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to be just giving it out either. Delivery going missing is bad news, though. I suppose it's alright just this once. Wait here. For a couple of minutes, she comes back with a sheet of notepaper. Okay, so each map has a code number on it, you see? Based on region and direction and travel. Explains how to work out the code you need and gives you the cheat sheet. This should help you find the right map at the postal station. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I could come back to the previous areas now. It makes my life a little bit easier. I will also add the barbed wire and stuff that I need to. You see a wooden sign off the side of the trail that reads Jumble Neck Mine, four miles. It's weird that they put a period on the sign. Um, and it's weird that they bothered to carve individual hyphens and a greater than sign instead of just carving an arrow into it. Yeah, that is weird. Continue. Cool. Alright, so we got what we need over here. Follow the map. Travel towards Breadwood. Follow the map and along the route to Breadwood you find a suspicious looking house. Chuck's house. Hmm. Something about this house makes you suspicious. You can't put your finger on it. The place looks perfectly normal after all. But you can't shake the feeling that there's something very wrong going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. Um, Chuck's house. Where is this at? Right here? Also, where'd that mine pop up? Okay, it's up there. Just want to make sure I knew where it was. The street looks like it wants a hug, but I don't recommend that. It probably just pretending to be friendly so I can suck your soul. Oh, mate, right here. It's too quiet. It is pretty creepy. Feels like someone's watching us. Feel the hairs on my neck standing up. I ain't scared of nothing, but why are we doing this again? Ugh. Cellar door. Man, I bet it's all kinds of horror down there, like some sort of medieval torture dungeon. Uh, it's unmarked. There's no name on it or anything. Okay. Approach the door hesitantly. You could be getting yourself into a real bad situation. Knock on the door, a voice uh, inside calls out. Come in, it's open. It's always open. The door creaks open and you step inside the house. The interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chains and hooks, as well as a variety of wicked looking knives and shears. Man of indeterminate age and slightly hunched posture grins widely as you enter, his eyes gleaming. Standing near a large puddle of blood on the floor? Hello, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. Your what? Blood and breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a lisp. Lisp? Yes, it makes lewd sound like lewd. A bed and breakfast? I see. I'm- that's totally going over my head right now. It's quite late. 
Oh, oh, okay. So we've done like a uh, lewd, a bead, and breakfast. So it's like bead. Let's see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly, but I don't get that at all. Uh huh. Uh huh. And here's your bed and breakfast. Large collection of steel chains and hook in chains and hooks, as well as knives, shears, and other bladed implements. Everything is covered with rust, or possibly dried blood, or possibly both. Huh? You've noticed my collection. Yeah, it's a uh, dramatic. I belong to my father and his father before him. They were butchers. And you? I do a bit, but not professionally. I broke with family tradition to run my little bed and breakfast. Okay. Chuck is staring at you. Notice that his left eye has a tendency to drift sideways as he stares and then resets when he blinks, which is not often enough. Talk to him. Er, excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? Said you're running a uh, bed and breakfast here? That's what I said, yes. God. I have a look at the guest room. It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest has only just checked out, and I still need to clean up the mess. Oh. It's on the menu. Homemade sausages and tomato soup. I also have a special tea blend that's a real knockout. What kind of sausages? Long pork sausages, my grandfather's own recipe. You just say long pork? That's right. I make them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. This is puzzling and uncomfortable for many different reasons. I mentioned a special tea blend. Yeah, it's a special herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very... Effective. Huh. Has the mailman been by recently? Why, yes. My last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's no longer with us. Hope you just mean he left. I like to think he'll always be here. In spirit. But thanks. Fucking weirdo. Uh, there's a lot of blood on the floor here. Ask Chuck about it. Yeah, you know, but notice you have a giant pool of blood on your floor. Blood? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry, giant pool of bed on your floor. Bed? Oh, no, 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 I can see why you might think that. As this is certainly... As this is certainly red like bed. But this is tomato soup. Tomato soup? Yes, I spilled my lunch. Very clumsy of me. I was just getting started cleaning up when you arrived. Let's see. Kettle on the stove and it's still hot. Little pantry shelf with various tins and jars. There's nothing very unusual, but you do notice two jars of tea leaves labeled Sleepy Time and Earl Grape. Switch the labels. You sur surreptitiously swap the labels. Chuck doesn't seem to have noticed. Yeah, I don't think I want to be Sleepy Times. Sorry, that's private. That's my bedroom. Your what? My bedroom. My bedroom. Alright, gotcha. Okay. Uh, thanks. Okay, let's try going in here. It's locked, but it's, is it locked to keep you out or to keep something in? Okay, and then I got... Yeah, I didn't get much out of this. I look at the guest room, unavailable, it's on the menu. Um, say long pork, mailman. Such a nice fellow, you mentioned a special tea blend. Huh. Oh my god, you disappeared? Wait, what? Where'd you go? Enter? <gasps> you went to sleep! Oh, okay. Oh, you Chuck's creepy bedroom. Going through Chuck's drawers seems like maybe not a good idea. There's a key on top of the dresser, though. Yoink. Chuck's key. Yoink, indeed. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Chuck's sleeping pretty soundly, but you should be careful not to wake him anyway. Uh, okay. Enter. Unlock the door and steal yourself for what you're about to see. Go in. It's not nearly as horrific down here as you expected, unless you're particularly horrified by an unmade bed. Hmm. Uh, looks like this is a missing bag of mail. Grab it. Sling the sack of mail over your shoulder. Neither rain nor sleet nor super creepy B&B &B proprietors. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything good? Vance Cal punch in. Locks in how to pick them! And fundamentals of Nexmax. I mean, I already know that one, but the wait, wait—that's different. Ray's skeletal buddy. 
Read it? Probably pretty dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? I don't know. Oh, wait. I learned that other thing from that. The grinning skull thing. That's what I learned. Well, I want lockpicking. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphanage will be able to make their, uh, orphans will be able to make their escape. Okay. Thick skin, bull stomp, brawny increases my maximum HP, or this increases my armor. I want max HP. You read the book while doing 10,000 sit-ups. 20. Tear the book in half. Damn right I do. And fundamentals of next max. I mean, raising a skeletal buddy seems fun. Probably pretty dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? Basic rituals and incantations, enough to get a single skeleton up and moving around. I'm reading it. Dark arts are no laughing matter. This could really mess you up. I don't know, I like being a, a cool necromancer. Um, the words crawl off the page and into your eyes like worms. The worms burrow into your bones and then whisper stuff to you about cool things you can do with other people's bones. Very skeletal buddy. Turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. You got a perk, white hair. Your hair instantly loses all of its color. Oh, but it's just minus three moxie, that's fine. Hair's gone prematurely white due to your meddlings in the affair of the underworld. Yeah, sure. I'm fine with that, it's covered up by my turnip anyway. Okay, so that, I mean, it makes Moxie my lowest stat, but I'm leaning more into muscle anyway. That definitely does have repercussions that I need to keep in mind now, though. So that is something that we need to watch out for. I maybe don't want to read one again. She's climbing out of the cellar, a mailman approaches you. Oh man, thank goodness you found my mail. Mailbag is yours. Yeah, I've been stressed out lately, so I took a day off and rented a room here for a sort of mini vacation. Chuck's a great guy, a little weird, I guess, but still real personable. This cooking's great. Tomato soup and those great big sausages. Tea did wonders for my insomnia. Did seem pretty effective. Forgot my mailbag and wasn't sure why I left it, so I've been retracing my step for ages. Thanks for finding it. No problem, here you go. Mailman walks away with a bag over his shoulder, whistling a cheerful tune. Well, that's sorted, I guess. Okay, cool. So, we are done. And, uh... Yeah, I got some, uh, new abilities and stuff. Lockpick and expertise. Um, let's just go ahead and level that up, why don't we? Now I can actually pick locks, and there's a bunch of locks in various areas that needed to be picked that I can never go into. The immediately what I can think of right off the bat, actually, is, um, Gustafsson Gulch? I know there were some over there. Encounter a bandit who doesn't look very bandit-like due to the lab cope and slide rule holster. Fortunately, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat, otherwise you might not have been able to tell. All right, Buster, this is a stick-up. Hand over the meat. You don't seem to have a gun. How about I just punch you out and leave instead? Huh, like C Tribe, because I've invented an anti-punching ring and that would help me test it. Punch her really hard, cow puncher. I, I like this. Punch her really hard. Okay, I mean, punching things kind of my whole shtick, actually. Really? Great. Okay, give it. go ahead and give it a good one. You wind up and launch your best haymaker. You do, in fact, feel some resistance as your fist nears her head, but you power through it and knock her sprawling. Oh, dang, jeez, okay. Looks like he's back to the drawing board. Help her up. Here, you can keep the stupid defective ring. She dusts herself off, tosses you the ring, and slouches away, rubbing her jaw. Looks like she dropped her wallet when she fell down, too. Plus two armor. This ring has a weak enchantment on it that renders its wear nominally less punchable than usual. Hey! Yeah, so here, there's a couple of places I can break into that I couldn't before. I don't think it's any of these. That's the... This one, maybe? Check out the inside. Door is locked. Boom. Pick it. You enter what turns out to be a uh, delicatessen and help yourself to sandwiches. Uh, bad ones at that. Storage and goblin. Okay, and then check it out. Uh, investigate the outdoors. Already done everything I can here. Cafe. Pick the lock. Uh, Goblin Chicory. Increases your speed, but reduces your muscle, mysticality, and moxie. Everyone turns to be out of the cafe and reconstruct a few cups of chicory from the leavings in various dirty cups and sinks. Stop to wonder why a cafe would be open this time of day. You see a schedule posted on the wall, and sure enough, it says somebody named Jean is supposed to be working this shift. Always was a li shiftless layabout, that Jean. Oh, wait, that Jean was the name of you. Oh, so if I had been able to lockpick to get in here, I could have been like, hey, Jean, go get to your shift at the cafe. So it was locked behind that. Cool. 
All right, well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end things off. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.